Hello everyone, welcome back to Alex Elliott Golf. We're down here at Didsby with Tom Murray, Challenge Tour player. We're giving you three quick tips of how you can improve your bunker play and three areas that we think most amateurs do wrong. So mine and Tom's first top tip for you guys at home is how people's club faces not open enough. In my experience playing with amateurs in pro-ams and stuff, most amateurs have the club face very square to the target line in the bunkers. This really doesn't help because there's the bounce on the wedge you need to increase because it'll go through the sand a lot easier if it's square dig or the ball will get out the bunker. So this is the most common setup. This is the setup that me and Tom would like you to have with the club face and address. So mine and Tom's second top tip links in with our first one by putting loft on the club face. Most people try and help the ball up in the air. By applying loft to the club face, this will do this for you. So as Tom's going to demonstrate here, he's not going to help the ball up into the air. He's going to give it a nice descending blow and the loft on the club face is going to get the ball into the air. So our third top tip is the length of backswing. A lot of amateurs that I see, and that again it ties in with the loft on the club, they take it very short on the way back, then have to help it in the air. So if you can have a nice smooth, long, languid swing and just gather the ball like this. So thank you guys for watching. Our three top tips are, make sure you've got enough loft on the club face, nice long languid swing, and also don't help that ball up in the air guys. If you've got the loft on the face, that's gonna do the work for you. Thanks Tom for coming down. No Get you on the videos again soon. Thanks guys.